This is how to add text-to-speech to your TikTok live stream. I'll show you multiple uses, including reading out chat messages, follower and like alerts, and a few ways to use it for gifts as well. This is free, and it works for all TikTok streamers, even phone streamers. The only caveat is you do need access to a PC or a Mac. So this uses Tickfinity, which I've linked in the description, and if you haven't already, then click on Setup, and make an account. Keep in mind that you must keep Tickfinity open or minimized while you're live. And if you're streaming from a phone, you must be on this OBS overlays page here, which we'll explain later. So let's just start by clicking on TTS chat on the left side and we'll go through the basic options. So by default, if you enable TTS here, then it will read out loud every single chat message. We can click play down here to hear what it sounds like. This is a test. Like it says up here, the voice is played directly in the browser, so no OBS overlay is required. Once it is enabled, the TTS works, even if you click onto a different page like I'm doing here, you would still hear the text-to-speech coming through. Personally, I don't recommend allowing anyone to use the TTS unless you're a smaller streamer, as random people can abuse it. So let's look through some of the other options here. So you can limit who uses TTS with these options here. For example, you could make it a perk for top gifters and subscribers only by unticking all these other options. You can refine it further by only allowing TTS if they type a dot or a slash before their sentence, or you can add a custom command, which is what I like to do. So in this example, the user has to type exclamation point TTS followed by their message, or it won't get read out. If you're using the channel point system, you can dock points from people by clicking this option here. This special users section here allows you to both block people and also add people to an allow list if you have this option here selected. To entirely block somebody from using TTS, just click the plus button down here, type in their username, and then untick the allowed checkbox here. And now they're fully blocked from TTS. You can also use the speed and pitch options here to give different viewers different sounding voices. Moving down to spam protection here, you can add a cooldown so that people don't send too many TTS messages. If you get a lot of messages in one go, they get put in this queue up to this number of messages. And of course, you don't want super long messages to be read out taking the time. So you can set a maximum comment length here. Finally, it will try its best to filter people just spamming random letters if you tick this option. The advanced section here is one of my favorite parts. I like to set it up so it reads the username and then it says the message. So you just copy the example here into the box. And if I press play here, you'll hear what it sounds like. Test user says this is a test. Now I can know who's saying the message. So that's text to speech for chat messages. Let's now look at how to use TTS with alerts. And we'll start with follower and like alerts. So this is almost exactly the same steps for both follow and like alerts. Make sure you're on this actions and events page and then click create new action. I'm just gonna type into this box, new follower. Then I'm gonna head down to here and click read text TTS. And we want it to read the username out loud and say thanks for following. So you can see down here, you can copy the username parameter. So I'll do that. And then all I need to type in is thanks for following. I can test it easily by clicking test. Username thanks for following. If you're a phone streamer, just leave it like this. But if you're a PC streamer, you might wanna show the profile picture and the message on screen as well. So just click on show alert. And by default, it's already showing a profile picture and the username. So this time we just type, thanks for following. Play around with the color options and the overlay settings if you want. Then just scroll down. I'm gonna lower the duration slightly. Once you're happy with your duration, you can ignore the other options and hit save. We're not done yet, we need to add an event. So I'll click on create new event. I'll click on follow here. And then on this drop down list, I'll click on the new follower action that we created and just hit save. It's exactly the same steps for a like alert. The only difference is on your event, you're clicking on sending likes instead of the follow option here. Now the final step is slightly different for phone streamers and PC streamers, but regardless, everyone needs to click onto this OBS overlays page. And if you're a phone streamer, the alerts are gonna play through your PC or Mac speakers as long as you're on this OBS overlays page. If you're a PC streamer, click on my actions on the left and we're gonna copy the URL of screen one. Now we head into OBS and we just add it as a browser source down at the bottom here. Click on browser, I'll call it TTS alerts. Press OK, and we'll just paste the link in here, set any dimensions that you want, and press OK. If you use Live Studio, it's a similar step, just press Add Source, and instead, you're gonna click on Link here, and just paste the link in. Finally, let's test that it works by clicking back on Actions and Events, and pressing one of the play buttons here. Test user sent likes. 
Like I said, just make sure you repeat the step again if you need both follow and like alerts. Now let's move to text to speech gift alerts and I think this is the most interesting one. You can add text to speech for specific gifts, you can do it for gifts in general, or you can do it for gifts over a certain coin value. So let's start with an alert for every single gift that you get. And we're back in actions and events here and I'll create a new action. I'll call this one gift alerts and I'm gonna click on read text and I want this to say for example, username, thanks for the rose. So I'm just gonna copy the username parameter down here, type in thanks for, and then I'm gonna copy the gift name here. If you want the number of gifts as well, you could copy repeat count here, but keep in mind this would say username, thanks for five rows, and it won't make it plural. Click on test to hear what it sounds like. Test user thanks for repeat count gift name. If you're a PC streamer, you probably wanna show a message on screen as well. So just click on show alert here, and you can basically just follow the same text, except you wanna delete the username section here because it's already shown on the screen by default. And feel free to play around with these color settings and the global settings here. Once you're happy with all the other settings, just hit save at the bottom and we'll move to creating a new event. So I'll create my new event. And if you want an alert for every single gift, then it's sending a gift with min coins value and you'd leave it on one for every single gift. Of course, you can set this number to whatever you want. So if you don't want it read out for lower value gifts, just raise the number. Once you're happy with that, click on select here and make sure you've selected gift alerts as your action and then just hit save. So finally, to get these gift alerts working, there's once again slightly different steps for phone streamers and PC streamers, but everyone needs to click back onto OBS overlays. If you're a phone streamer, your text-to-speech alerts will play through your speakers as long as you're on this page. If you're a PC streamer, you need to click on My Actions and copy the URL if you haven't already. Then you just need to head back into OBS and if you don't have it added already, click the plus button at the bottom and add a browser source here. On TikTok Live Studio, it's called a link source. So for PC streamers, if you want to test that you've added it properly, click back onto Actions and Events and then next to Gift Alerts here, press the play button. Test user thanks for repeat count gift name. Now for me, this is one of the most interesting uses for TTS and this is when a specific gift is sent. As an example, you could be playing a game and you have it set so that when somebody sends a galaxy gift, the TTS tells you to leave the game. So let's look at TTS for specific gifts and we'll start back on actions and events and let's create another new action. I'll call this one TTS leave the game and then I'll click on read text down here. In this example, I want to read the username out loud and then says leave the game. So I'll copy the username parameter here, paste it into the box and then type says leave the game. And I'll just hit test to make sure I've done it correctly. Username says leave the game. If you're a PC streamer, you probably want to show it on the screen as well. So click on show alert. By default, it's showing the profile picture and the username. So we just copy the part which says says leave the game and you can change the color here and all the text settings here. Change any other settings that you want, scroll down and hit save. Now let's create a new event and this time it's for sending a specific gift. In our example it's the galaxy gift. You can either pick it from the list here or even easier you just type it in. Now we choose the action we just created which was TTS leave the game. Ignore this one here and hit save. So once again to get this working on your stream there's slightly different steps for phone streamers and PC streamers but everyone needs to be on the OBS overlays page. If you're a phone streamer then as long as you're on this page the sound should play out of your PC speakers. For PC streamers, click on My Actions on the left, and once again, make sure you've copied this URL into OBS and add it as a browser source here, or if you use Live Studio, add it as a link source. Once again, we can test that this is working by clicking on Actions and Events and pressing the Play button here. Test user says leave the game. Now Tickfinity allows you to add up to 10 actions completely for free, but if you want more than that, click on Setup and click on Tickfinity Pro. And as it says here, it will let you create unlimited actions and events. If you want me to help find sounds and set up the alerts for you, then you can check out my Fiverr page in the description. Let us know in the comments how you're using text-to-speech. You can join my Discord for free, linked in the description as well. And thanks for watching.